Uh, welcome to Oregon Institute of Technology and today's geothermal drilling event. I'm Chris Maples, president of OIT. On behalf of our faculty, staff, and more than 3,500 students here and at our six other campuses in Oregon and one in Seattle, Washington, thank you all very much for being here today. That rig will allow us to drill down to a depth of several thousand feet to re reach a water resource that will be warm enough to readily convert to steam. The steam will turn a turbine to create electricity. That electricity will power the entire OIT campus here in Klamath Falls. <laughs> the power plant also will provide educational opportunities for visitors who want to tour the facility, observe its workings online, as well as providing a focal point for a local and regional sustainable energy economic development sector. This is well number five, our best production well as of now. Um, the deep well will be coming on this summer. We'll see what we get out of that. But basically this is the start of the whole geothermal system here for the whole heating of the campus. We pull the water from about 1,800 feet down through this 100 horse motor through a closed line shaft pump that's set approximately on this one 400 feet down. Uh, we can get 460 gallons a minute out of this pump. We currently have three production wells to heat the campus. Our existing production in our three wells equals out about 950 gallons a minute. Everything starts here and cascades through the campus. Okay, after our production wells, we come well two, well five, and well six come into this building through a flow meter, a vortex flow meter that measures how many gallons a minute are you pumping out of each well into this tank. This tank basically holds the hot water to be ready for campus as the heating demands are called for. The temperature at this time coming in from the wells is at 193. It's about a 4,000 gallon storage tank. It is the gravity feed for the campus because it's all downhill. It provides the head for our for our distribution system so we don't have to pump after we get it out of the wells. This is our uh, 280 kilowatt United Technologies Corporation Pure Cycle power plant. We're actually going to use this to uh, off, run off our existing wells to generate uh, approximately 85 to 140 kilowatts. And this will actually supplement our uh, geothermal uh, wells and cold water well pumps. This is the uh, south side of our heat exchange building. The pipeline that you're looking at is actually the extension to the Crystal Terrace Retirement Home. We are actually going to start furnishing heat for their uh, complex. The geothermal water from our distribution system feeds um, through here, basically, and into this heat exchanger. Right now we are inside uh, the mechanical room for one of our buildings on campus. This is the Dow building. This is uh, the latest building we have on our campus and it is LEED certified. As you can see, we have the geothermal water and return lines coming in and our snow melt supply and return lines. This is uh, the heat exchange for our snow melt system for the Dow building. We have several sidewalks out front. Um, this is actually a small portion of our snow melt system. We have over 7,000 square feet of snow melt systems on campus. That includes some of our stairwells and sidewalks. The temperature on this gauge is reading about 154. This is the temperature of the geothermal supply water. The reason the temperature is so low in this building is we are actually mixing supply and return water from some other buildings to heat this building. It actually was designed to heat at a lower temperature. This is the little heat exchanger for our domestic hot water. It transfers the geothermal heat to our um, hot water system, so we have uh, instant hot water in uh, the whole entire campus, including our labs when we need it. All the geothermal water from campus comes through this pipe here, feeds this tank. This tank has all the excess heat left in our geothermal water into this tank here. We pump out of this tank into this heat exchanger over here to pull out some more heat for Pervine. Pervine Hall is basically a recycled heat left over from the rest of the geothermal system. 
The heat exchanger is here, is set, and we pump water through it. And we also have a heating water loop to run around the building to heat the building up. Irvine was actually designed to use all the waste heat from the rest of the campus. It only is heated with the return water off the other buildings. It was designed to heat at 135 degrees. This is actually, um, this is our uh, wellhead assembly for the deep well that we just got done drilling. We uh, completed it down to 5,300 feet. We encountered some lost circulation zones. We're not really sure exactly what we have down there at this time. We are waiting to do our pump test, and that will give us our temperature, our flow, and our drawdown, and the chemistry of this water so we can design our power plant. The whole process with the drilling to mobilize the rig and to demobilize the rig was probably about two months completed. The uh, drilling company did not have much room to work with. We didn't give them much of a drilling pad. They're used to having three times as much space as, as what we actually was able to provide them. Um, they did bring in a smaller rig and they do have a lot of big rigs, but they did bring in a small rig to accommodate us. And um, basically, it's kind of a demonstration. I mean, if we can do it in our parking lot, it can be done in smaller areas also. And as you can see, we have all the buildings and stuff around us, so it was pretty, pretty compact. With the work being done on this campus, with the change in priorities that I think is underway in Washington, uh, D.C., this campus right here in, in, in Klamath Falls is going to be seen as a leader for our nation in renewable energy. I envision the time when people from all over the world come to this campus to study uh, what you're doing. The green lights are never going out at OIT again, and it is an extraordinary honor to be able to be with you and in a modest sort of way be a partner in your efforts. One of the things that's been striking about this from time to time, I've talked about the fact that uh, the campus is a first in uh, the geothermal area. And people kind of smile and they say, oh, Ron, that's great. The first campus in Oregon. And I say, no, um, the first campus in the nation. And then people kind of their eyes widen and then I go, no, the first campus in the world. <laughs> and what an extraordinary. What an extraordinary contribution that is in the field of renewable uh, energy.